Hi everyone, this is another episode of Textway. Welcome, my name is Jay, and today we're talking YouTube tags and the lazy guide of how to make your videos get increased viewership. So, there are four main types of tags that you should be using on all of your videos already. If you're not using tags on your videos, then, well, there's something wrong with you and you need to get it sorted, otherwise your channel is going to sink to the depths of YouTube never to be seen again. We're just going to jump into, into a video here. And you see, I've already got a number of tags on here. I haven't got loads. I haven't filled the whole 500. But what we have are four rules. Now, there are videos that go into a lot more details to why these four rules exist. But for today, we're just going over it briefly. So types of tags you should be using. Number one, specific tags, keywords that describe the video. So for example, number one up here, how to download all photos from iCloud. The title, iCloud, how to download all your photos and videos for PC or Mac. Basically along the same sort of lines, just slightly reworded, but a lot of people will just type in that particular search. This also covers number two, compound tags. Now compound tags are multiple words that describe your video. So for example, how to, it's a how to video, and then download all photos from iCloud. That's basically two different types of kind of genre mashed together, and then that has given me a compound tag. You should use lots of these. Number three is generic tags. These are general words that describe the video. So if we look down the bottom, these will be words like photo, download, iPad, iOS, just related words that generally describe what the contents of the video is. And fourth and final one is misspelled words. Now a lot of people don't think about this, so you should include at least two or three kind of main keywords that are slightly misspelled. So just as an example down this, instead of iCloud, I'll put iCloud because someone may miss the U when they're typing, they're not paying attention. And if someone types that in, well, I'm gonna get a hit on my video or my video is gonna be pushed up higher in the ranks because no one else is bothered to include these. So back to the lazy person's guide. Now, these basically involve using tools. So some of you may already notice I've got the tags tool box down here and some of my tags actually have numbers on them of one, two, 27. Now this is actually using a Google Chrome extension called TubeBuddy. Um, if I just click onto here, we'll take it to the main page. It's a free Chrome browser extension that you can actually install. And it's free in quotation marks, I would say, because it's limited free. So what I mean by that is if I click on the suggest tags, basically, so this will give me suggested for related content and suggested for search. I only get the first five free in each field. But that's fine for me because that kind of gives me a general idea of what I need to really use. If you actually want more, then you'll need to upgrade. And I think the initial pro license is $9 at the time of making this video. It does go up quite steeply after that. And me personally, I don't think it's worth it, but the choice is yours. Um, but you'll see I've already used all of these in there, which is why I've got ones. But one of the best things about this is you can actually sort. So if you want to, you can actually sort it all by ranks. So I can put the worst ones at the bottom, best at the top, and it's literally just auto sort, apply and close. You'll see it's already just done these now. So my best ones are at the top. This doesn't actually change anything in terms of the searching on the video, but it's more of a personal preference that you can have your videos like this. And it's a lot more organized. So, you know, the worst tags are at the bottom. So that's one. Um, so that's TubeBuddy out of the way. And then the other one is probably my more favorite, but it has changed recently. And this is keyword.io. Now you do need to sign up for an account, which is absolutely free. But as an example, let's say we typed in iCloud after selecting the YouTube tab, and then you can choose the country, but I leave as United States as my biggest viewership is from the US. So check who your target audience is in the YouTube analytics, see where most of your traffic is coming from by country. And then that's why I would suggest using as the actual dropdown. So once you've done that, hit search, it will load up all the related keywords that you think are relevant. And you don't have to choose it. Like as far as I'm, I'm aware, it doesn't put it in ranking of order. It just kind of gives you suggestions of related words. So obviously you'll see here, you're prompted for a free account. I'm just going to continue for now. And as an example, let's just say I wanted to choose these types of keywords. And then from here, all you do is if you're already logged in, you would click export and then just copy selection to clipboard. You can then just go back to here and then paste it in by either right clicking or using control and V on the keyboard to paste it in. So that's it. We've kind of just did a general sort of overview of four keyword rules that you should be using on the tags. And then the lazy guide, which is using TubeBuddy, the Chrome extension and the website keyword.io. 
So that's generally just a general guide of what you should be doing, in my opinion. If you think I'm wrong, well, let me know. I mean, how do you guys do it? Drop a comment below and let me know what you think, how you use search tags, and if you know of any other good tips or tools for doing tags, again, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.